Hi everyone, I am back. It was uh, nice to have a two week break for the two YouTube channels I have. And uh, just after I, I announced I was taking a break, uh, there was this from Apple Music, 100 Best Albums. Yeah, Music's 100 Best Albums. And I was like, dang it. <laughs> Uh, so I'm a couple weeks late doing this. I did watch just a little bit of uh, the YouTube channel Taste Like Music, uh, their their reaction, but I didn't want to watch the whole video and spoil it for myself. So just realize, please, you know, I'm more of a 60s, 70s, 80s, some 90s kind of a guy. So the more... You know, some of these albums from the later years, I probably have never heard. So here we go. But, you know, I love a wide variety of music and I love lots of bands and solo artists. But Robin and the album Body Talk, I've never heard. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> here we go. Hotel California, of course. Even back, even me back in the day bought it when it came out. And, you know, I did enjoy it, I guess, but it's just the Eagles have just never been one of my favorite bands. Uh, great songwriters, of course, great songs, but they just don't interest me enough, you know, to listen to them. Travis Scott, I've heard of, but I've never heard his music. Rage Against the Machine, I just had never really bothered with them. It was around the 90s I, I stopped uh, having interest in new bands coming out. Plus, I you know, there there are already so many artists that I loved. It's hard to Keep up with everything, you know, my CD collection's got many, many, many bands and solo artists, and it's hard to listen to everything. Lord, I've heard a little bit of the music, but I'm not very familiar with it once again. But it's 96. Usher, no interest in. Great talent, though, of course. I've never heard of Burial. Have you? Let me know. Yeah, I, I'm really curious. You know, I love the feedback and what you all think of this list and what number one is going to be. I don't see any Beatles yet. <laughs> Never heard of this artist. Tyler, the creator. So, so far they seem to be more recent albums. George Michael, Listen Without Prejudice, Volume 1. Great talent once again, but, you know, just not my kind of music. Even I own Back in Black by ACDC. Yeah, I can see that being in the list. Lady Gaga, once again, a great talent, but just not my kind of music, man. Nina Simone. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the, there was a documentary on her whole life on Netflix three or four years ago. I really enjoyed it. But I've never owned any of her music. Massive Attack, never listened to. So, so far, I own one of the albums. <laughs> Mary J. Blige. Nope. Uh, Casey Musgraves. Nope. Snoop Dogg. Never owned any of his albums. Patty Smith Horses. Yeah, I have all of the early Patty Smith albums. That's the one I probably play the least, though. My favorite is. Easter and uh, Radio Ethiopia. 82. 
I've heard 50 cent albums. You know, I do try. Uh, I, I've tried listening to some of his albums on Spotify just to, you know, learn and whatever. And they were just really, really bad. <laughs> so I'm kind of surprised to see him on the list. Yeah, great album. I don't have it at the moment, but I, you know, I have had it on vinyl. The Gold Rush. I love Neil Young. I had some Eminem albums back in the day on CD. I never owned this one. I don't think I've ever heard it. Lana Del Rey. Never heard her music. Elton John, yeah, I used to have that on vinyl. One of the greats. I can see that being on the list. Madonna, I had that album back in the day. I used to disc jockey in the uh, late 70s, 80s, early 90s. And uh, that was actually a very good album. Bad Bunny, I've never heard. At 76. Missy Elliott. Now, it the one thing when they do a list like this, it's kind of, you know, when they mix all of these different genres, how can you rank like a rap album with, you know, like ACDC? It's, it does get a little ridiculous. I never was into Nine Inch Nails. Steely Dan, once again, I, you know, I love some of their songs. I did have that, that album on vinyl back in the day, but it just didn't interest me enough to keep listening. It's kind of similar to the Eagles for me. I've never heard of SZA. Craftwork. I don't have that album, but I've got Autobahn, Radioactivity, uh, Computer World. I love craft work. NWA. Nope. Metallica. I respect them. Uh, I think they're great live. I think they're great with their fans. I've heard the album Master of Puppets. Good album. The Strokes. I've heard. I do a. I have a Patreon channel, as some of you know, and. I've listened to The Strokes, and they're a very good band. Just never bought any of their albums. Portishead, I've heard, I think, just one recently on my Patreon, and it was very good. The Smiths, speaking of my Patreon, I'm doing an album reaction to this album. Uh, of course, I've heard it. I used to have it on, I think I had it on CD years ago. And it's probably my favorite Smith's album. De La Soul, I listened to on Patreon for a you know, full album review. It was very good, very original. No idea. Yeah, I have that. It's my favorite Jimi Hendrix album. Two pack, never listened to. Sade, Sade. Love the Velvet Underground, one of my favorite bands. All four of the albums, uh, you know, the, with the original members. I know the fifth album was basically a, a de, uh, what's his name, Yule solo album. But the first four are just all 10 out of 10s for me. Doug Ewell, that's it. Arctic Monkeys, I might have heard a song or two. Oasis, yeah, I get requests on Patreon. I, I enjoy their songs. I think, I think back in the day I was just kind of turned off by them with their attitudes and everything. And not a very good band. I don't see any Beatles yet. The D'Angelo. The Cure. I had that on CD years and years ago. I love The Cure. 
Nope, never listened to that. John Coltrane, I think I've tried to listen to that. I'm, I think I prefer other kind of jazz. I can try again. I have that. Uh, Exile on Main Street. I prefer Sticky Fingers. Goat's Head Soup, but still great album, of course. No surprise to see that in, in the list. Let's skip that one. I'm not a fan. Sorry. Prince. I had that on vinyl years and years ago. Prince, great town. And Kate Bush, yep, yeah, have that album. It is excellent. So, so far, five albums. <laughs> And no Beatles or Paul McCartney or John Lennon. You to the Joshua Tree. Yeah, for many, many years, I was a huge fan until about 10 years ago. My favorite was Octong Baby. Beastie Boys are great. Yeah. Just never owned any of their albums. Drake. Bob Marley. Just, uh, you know, I, I don't mind reggae music, but just not one of my favorite genres. Bjork, I might have heard that one, but I've never owned any of her albums. Stevie Wonder, uh, Songs in the Key of Life is the only album I had of his on vinyl back in the day. But of course, one of the greats. I'm really surprised there's no Beatles. 100 Best Albums, Talking Heads. I like that album a lot, but my favorite is always going to be uh, Fear of Music. Janet Jackson, Control. Some good songs on that. Just never owned it. Outcast. Yeah, I just did a song reaction today <laughs> from that album. It's very good. Aretha Franklin, Nas, Harold King. I've never owned it. I remember my older brother having it, of course, on vinyl. So I've heard it many, many times and did an, an album reaction to it on Patreon. Where are the Beatles? I'm getting mad. Wu Tang Clan. Nope. Beyonce. Nope. So is this her, her latest album? I'm not sure. But it's already at number 36 of all the albums of all time. It must be pretty good. The Clash. I love The Clash. My favorite album, though, is Sand, Sandinista. But, of course, London Calling is great, too. So I've got, I own six albums. Public Enemy. I know that Ron Mail of Sparks, that's one of his all-time favorite albums. I know. Kid A, I used to have on CD. The, the Notorious B.I.G. Alanis Morissette. I had that. That would have been on CD, I guess, back in the day when I, you know, doing dances or whatever. It was not one of my favorites, but it, it was good. Top 30, Billie Eilish. I've heard that. Where are the Beatles? A Tribe Called Quest, 29. Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon at 28. That's not right. It should be higher. Led Zeppelin 2, well, that's great, but where's like physical graffiti, Led Zeppelin 1? Led Zeppelin 4. <laughs> mm. I own all of the Led Zeppelin albums. Kanye West. Nope. Miles Davis. I have... I have some Miles Davis albums. I think I have that one. I need to listen to it. 
Of course, one of the greats, David Bowie. I have all of his albums. Daft Punk. Bruce Springsteen. I used to have that on vinyl. My favorite is Tunnel of Love. Yay, a Beatles album at 21. So I have 10 albums on this list. That's a little on the low side, I would say. That would, for me, that would be probably higher. I've always loved the Beach Boys music. You know, all of their hits. Pet Sounds, the album, I always really liked a lot. But just in the in the last year, I think it happens to, you know, it happens to people. It, they, it finally clicks, you know, certain albums just finally click. And it clicked with me about a year ago. And it is a, I love the whole album. So, 11, I've got 11 albums. Dr. Dre. Taylor Swift, of course. She'll be she'll have all of her albums in the top ten. <laughs> Marvin Gaye. What's going on? Joni Mitchell Blue. It's a great album. I don't own it though at the moment. Adele. Boom, Dylan. Um my favorite of his is Slow Train Coming. But Highway 61 Revisited is is great too. Jay-Z. So Jay-Z's The Blueprint is better than The Beatles' Revolver and Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon. I don't know about that. Radiohead, OK Computer. Yeah, great album. It just wouldn't be... I don't know. I don't know what it is about Radiohead. I think they're a great band, but... When I did have them on CD, I, I would rarely listen to them. Fleetwood Mac Rumors, I don't own at the moment, but I did, of course, on vinyl. Great album, I can see that being high on the list. Beyonce again. So, so far, two Beyonce albums and one Beatles album. Nirvana, of course, I did have that when it came out. Great album. Number eight, Amy Winehouse. Kendrick Lamar at number seven. What is number one? Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life, which, like I said, I did have on vinyl. Number five, Frank Ocean, Blonde. Should that be at number five? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Maybe it's a great album. I don't know. Prince and the Revolution. I had that on vinyl. I wouldn't have it at number four, though, but still, it is an excellent album. Number three. Hey, another Beatles album. That should be number one, though, or number two. The Beatles' White Album or The Beatles' Abbey Road at number one for me. Yeah. At least it's, you know. So is Sergeant Pepper number one? Michael Jackson Thriller? Of course, everybody owned that. <laughs> and it is a great, for the most part, except for The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney, kind of a really cheesy song. But Want to Be Starting Something is just so great. Love that song. And Thriller and Beat It. Number one. Oh, I see it there. It's not the Beatles. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Number one. The number one album. Sgt. Pepper isn't even on this list. Or there's so, so much missing. <laughs> um... I've never heard the album and she only made that one album and then kind of retired, right? 
I don't think there was a second, like a follow-up album. But let me know if you agree with that. Like I said, maybe it should be number one. So it looks like I have about 11 of the 100 albums on this top 100 best albums list. <laughs> I guess I have to buy some albums. Not. So thank you for watching. I really look forward to your uh, comments below. Please remember to like the video and subscribe. Bye.